So today I'm doing a southern, no, sorry, northern beach run. Uh, I usually go south. This one's quite nice. A little bit different as it's a pathway. So I'm just walking part way right now. So you can see it. Um, it's obviously still summertime because in the off season or more winter time, none of these boats, kayaks, stand up paddle boards, none of this stuff is here. But it's uh, a great path, so I'll try to I'll try to keep my camera stable, but it's gonna be impossible as I move forward and I'll probably fast forward the video when I actually upload it because I mean with just walking it's not that you don't need to see it all that slow motion oh and a cute little kitten I had one at my house the other day when I went for my run I had a dog follow me oh look at that one I don't know if you can see it in the shadow so cute um, stray cats are very, very common here. You see them everywhere. Um, so I was going for a run. I saw my way back home about halfway through. And there was a dog on the pathway along the beach. He was wet. He would obviously gone for a swim. Very healthy. Had an owner. And he decided that uh, he needed to run with me for a while. So I think it's probably about half a kilometer, maybe, that he... He ran right beside me. I was a little bit nervous. I didn't want him to follow me all the way home. Um, but eventually he did. He did stop and probably went back to the beach wherever his owners was. And then, look how pretty that is. And then when I got home, there was this cutest little tiny white kitten that was on the railing going up the stairs to the, my building. And uh, I tried to give it some water. It didn't want water. I petted a little bit. It was so cute, like tiny, month old, maybe. I don't even know if it'd be two months old. And so I went inside and I went up. I think I got up to the second flight of stairs. And as I was going around the corner, I looked down and there was the cat. It had followed me inside and was following me up to my apartment. Probably wanted to adopt me. And I debated, I have to admit, I really debated. Then I thought, no, I can't. I can't keep a cat. I travel way too much. I'm gonna be gone for roughly seven weeks. In a couple of weeks, I'm only here for a few more weeks. And I'm gonna be gone for about seven weeks. And then I'll be back for maybe four to six weeks. And then I'll probably be gone for about another month again. And so there's just no way that, uh, that I can have any pet or a kitten, but oh yeah. I haven't been down here since the summer yet, but all this is new. This is usually completely empty. So obviously I can't really go running along here right now with all of this. I was thinking I was gonna run along the beach and the sand, but that's not an option right now. So I guess this will be my walking pace and I'll have to, uh, and I have to extend the run. Uh, going the opposite way, my usual route, because then there's not, it's just all pathway, um, concrete pathway, but, um, but yeah, this is great in the summer, or sorry, the, I mean, this would be great in the summertime, but in the fall, um, and throughout the winter, there's still days to enjoy the beach, and, uh, this is a great one to come to because it's quiet. There's generally no one ever here. Um, I mean, I can't say nobody, but like the odd person, sometimes nobody, um, but the odd person through here. Um, so I guess I'm not speeding up the video, um, but a pathway all the way down. So it's only like, I don't know, eight, I don't even think it's 8.30 in the morning yet. And there's already people out enjoying the sun, having their space on the beach. Um, but this is the northern beach part of Budva. Um, so quite beautiful, great place to come for holiday. If uh, you want it to be a lot quieter, um, obviously July and August is the busiest months of the year. 
but it's a, a great place to be. Um, you can get an easy residency permit by just opening up a corporation. Um, doesn't even really have to be an active corporation, it could be a shelf corporation, and you will have um, residency for one year. There are some monthly fees involved with that, but then you're part of the health care system, um, which, from my understanding, uh, the healthcare system isn't great here. So, um, if you have health problems and you need to see a doctor regularly, um, I don't know how this goes. I haven't been around this way before. Ooh, it's a little pathway. Um, then it might be not the best option for you, but isn't that pretty? Super nice. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead. Over here, a little cove. As I said, I've never actually been this far, so my what was going to be short little couple minute video is um, longer. Oh, and we have more. Oh, and high tide, so it's water. That's the end of the line for me because um, I'm not getting my shoes wet because I still have to run, finish my run, and get all the way back home. But. When the tide is low, you can go all the way around if you don't mind getting your feet wet. That's high tide time. Um, but this is the beautiful northern beach area. Um, I don't know the name of this beach specifically. Um, I gotta see where I'm walking. And um, yeah, so great place to be if you want to come, if you just want to be here for a year. I mean, otherwise you just get 90 out of every 180 days that you can be here, which is pretty typical for Europe. Uh, but a great place to be, so I hope you like the video.